I guess people just enjoy combat. Mm, I mean, they it, do. It would explain why video games are so popular. And it would explain why my new reality TV show idea for Gordon Ramsay will be popular. Whoa. Can't wait to hear about it. Gordon Ramsay, Kitchen Gladiator. <laughs> it's going to be the hot new show. And this time, it, it's not a, a twisted perversion of Kitchen Nightmares. This is an all-original show. Targeting restaurants that are very successful. Some Already? some would say close rivals to Gordon Ramsay's chain of Michelin star restaurants. But that's the elements of combat. Mm. We join a restaurant. Let's just say Pepe Le Stank. Let's <laughs> let's call it a, a great French bistro in London town. Pepe Le Stank. They're successful. They get customers in. They're they're packed every single night. And during the day, mm, impeccable lunch service. Um, grave reviews. Michael Winner said they're fantastic. Uh, they've already been f- focused. Like they've been the focus of TV shows before of, of great restaurants, fine dining. Gordon Ramsay doesn't like that. Gordon Ramsay's annoyed at that. Gordon Ramsay doesn't fucking like that. Is what he's saying to the camera. These guys think they're fucking special. They think they're fucking fantastic. Let's see, yeah, if they've got it where it counts. That's him smacking his hand again. Uh. Huh? Yeah? Let's see if they got it where it counts. Everybody knows you're not a true chef, right? Fuck. Until you have spilled blood. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> so we're at the restaurant. It's just a normal lunch service. It's, it's not packed, but it's not slow. It's a good time. Um, the wait staff are fulfilling orders. The chef is in a good mood. The maid of D is showing people to their tables. The owner sat back, looking back, just thinks, I love my restaurant. All of a sudden, he spies something weird in the window outside. It's only TV celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay wearing nothing but golden boots, his underwear, and a helmet. He's got like a kind of steel half helm on. And just his white fronts, his, his stained white fronts and golden boots. He's got in one hand a steel net, like like metal netting, and in the other hand a trident. And he just starts banging on the door with the trident, shouting, Do you accept my challenge? Do you accept my fucking challenge? And the waiter is conf- confused. The owner is... is, is what is going on? I, I do not know what this is. I have no idea. And he gets up, he opens the door, and he goes, God on Ramsey, is that law? What are you doing here? I'm going round to the kitchen gladiator. Do you accept my challenge, you prick? And the waiter doesn't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You, you want me to fight you here in the street? Yeah, I got a trident and a net. Draw your weapon! Ah! And he runs at the Frenchman with the trident raised above his head. And, and the, the owner is terrified and just runs back into the restaurant and shuts the door. And he shouts, Craven! Coward! Lily-livered laces of women's boots! I'm Gordon Ramsay, the kitchen gladiator! Ah! It's not a thong. It's like tidy whities or what kind of underwear is it? Uh, just like normal adult men's wife fronts, just tidy oh, okay. whities with with like yellow staining in the front. Oh, from not being clean. Yeah, yeah. Next day, they open up the kitchen. They fire up the ovens. They're getting ready. Suddenly, the back door. He's kicked open. Gordon Ramsay runs in. Again, just underwear, boots, half helm, net, trident. Runs in. Do you accept my challenge? You fucking dirty pig. And swings the trident and just bashes all the pots and pans and plates. Menaces the owner's wife with the trident. Just shakes it out and just goes. And runs away. And this carries on the whole week. 
most nights, they're, they're, the waiters are struggling to take the orders because they can't even be heard over the sound of, of Gordon Ramsay outside, marching, banging his metal boots on the floor, s- punching at the windows with his fists, just shouting, Do you accept? Do you accept my challenge? And after a week, he's gone. <laughs> How is that? A, that's not combat, exactly. That's... uh. Um, tolerating <laughs> some damage to your mind and to your place. Basically what happens is is they've got a week to accept <laughs> the challenge. And, and, you know, they'll march out with whatever weapons they can find in the kitchen and fight him in the street. Um, I'm guessing nobody will take the challenge. and They'll just wait out the week. Uh, because after seven days, he's gone. He just leaves, and you see him, like, he's putting his uh, sh- chef's smock back on, talking to the camera, just, well, they didn't accept my challenge. I am disappointed by that. I thought they had uh, what it took to run a successful restaurant. Uh, I'm Gordon Ramsay. I've got Michelin stars. What have they got? A coward for an owner. But we'll try again next year. Hopefully, uh... Next year, he'll grow a spine, and he'll accept my challenge. As for me, I'm off to New York to threaten a bistro. <laughs> and then, you know, next week, he tries to draw another one out from behind their walls, from behind the Bastille walls, uh, to meet him in open challenge. I'm picturing him really hiding in great places, you know, like being up where all the pots and pans are above someone. And then just, like, grabbing them by the neck. Yeah. Just, like, an arm dropping down and being like, Ah, the challenge! And they're, they're yeah, like, he t- different ways he tries to get their attention and, and piss them off. Like, that's his main goal. He wants to infuriate these guys. Like, one week, like, they just hear this... This is the owner's house, not even the restaurant. He's just... The, the owner's asleep in his house, and he just hears this clattering and this broken window... And he, he runs into the spare room and f- flings it open. And there's Gordon Ramsay having climbed up a ladder and broken a window, trying to crawl in. Still naked, still with his pants, but he's got, like, cuts up his back where he tried to crawl through broken glass. And he's, the back of his pants have hooked on a shard of glass still in the window frame. And he's pulled his pants back. And they're starting to come off while he just falls off the windowsill onto the floor. Almost hanging by his wife fronts, and he's just crawling and crying, and just ah, 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 and looks up and sees the owner. Just shouts, "My challenge! Do you accept my challenge?" And but this is like day six, and the owner's just looking at him. Just, I'm going back to fucking bed. See yourself out. My challenge, and the door just slams shut. And that could be one thing that happens. Yeah, I, I have noticed that people get pretty upset if you bleed on their property. Oh, they hate it. Yeah, it's he grosser than challenge. farting on it. Or, yeah, well, just to get them out of the house. Yeah. Another one is, you know, he's got big steel drums, like trash cans, big metal trash cans. About five of them he's just arranged outside the, the restaurant full of trash and he's just flung a match in each one and he's just burning barrels of trash outside and he shouts I've lit my brazius accept my challenge <laughs> Michelin stars I'll give you one if you win he would kill uh, if they took the challenge I think he would just kill the owner he would just stab him through the neck with a trident Put a net on him first and, and make him feel like, oh, he's just throwing a net around. He doesn't oh, and then just stabbed well, I mean, through the throat. If they accept the challenge, they will accept the risks that come with 